slippery slope to democracy. European election monitors this January observed some irregularities in Georgia's presidential poll, but also, for the first time, real competition. Delegates came from the Council of Europe, the OSCE, and the European Parliament. This Lithuanian Euro MP considers himself more consultant than observer. It's very important to be here, especially for us who are uh, we are together in the Soviet Union, and they know that we were together and in the same level. And now the difference is quite big, and it's very important to explain them how we reach that. To explain about the, the, the human rights, about the achievements, democratic, about the European Union, uh, because they have this the dream to be together with uh, Europeans. Now that Romania and Bulgaria are European Union members, the bloc's easternmost border is the Black Sea shore. There is a strong interest in expanding regional cooperation. Two new European Parliament reports stress the importance of resolving territorial conflicts between former USSR countries and today's Russia. French deputy Marie-Anne isla in close contact with the Caucasus for years, knows that fostering EU values here will take a lot of practice. Our partners here expect a great deal from the European Union, and we may not have been demanding enough towards them. I believe that at the moment we asked them to set up the criteria for liberalization, they went too far. We saw that. It led to the utter social and economic mess that we see here. So, when we see things going wrong, we must have the courage to tell them, hold on, that's not it. And most certainly, we must put more into the resolution of their conflicts. Along with broader cooperation, conflicts undermine the safe passage of oil and gas from their sources in the East to energy-hungry Europe. The Black Sea strategy that the Parliament supports aims to enhance transport and energy projects. Regional cooperation also involves environmental responsibility. And then there is the problem of corruption. Corruption is in all the post-Soviet countries is the biggest problem, and especially in Georgia. It was the one of the highest in the world, cor corruption. But in the, the last uh, years, it was decreased very much. Now the police, uh, they not stopped the cars. Uh, earlier, three years ago, it was uh, the biggest corruption in the, between the policemen. But now the people say that it's they really feel these changes. The Parliament's report also calls for more cooperation in education. At the State University in Tbilisi, a new project is already underway, a European Studies Master's degree. The students and staff are still waiting for classrooms to be provided, but the Georgians' interest in Europe is unwavering, says the programme coordinator. It was during the centuries that the Georgians uh, could consider themselves as a part of uh, Europe. We try to keep the same uh, value and uh, same uh, behaviors uh, uh, which uh, has European community. Uh, so, and um, the concept of European citizenship is very relevant uh, in Georgia. And it's dream of each of us to become a European citizen. Though their professors may be French, Natia and Ketty do some of their studying in English. To hold an investigation, and if Commission finds out that there is a violation... They launched into their new course in September, highly motivated. At this moment, uh, uh, the, the only priority I see to go abroad. But I hope that after this master's degree, I have more chances to live here and to have a good job. 
<coughs> Both Natya and Ketty have had to adapt to methods they're not used to, Western ways, other work and teaching styles. To uh, have the relation with the Georgian professors, it's more easier. More, it's like uh, your friends, but uh, and you have no really uh, no responsibility because you can just come and say, "Oh, come on, I will do it on the next week" or something like this. But uh, in this case, you can do this. When they are saying that you must do something for this state, you must do it. There is no ex exceptions. No exceptions. The German general manager of Pro Credit Bank in Tbilisi also imposes strict work methods. The bank specializes in loans to companies too small to interest other banks. He describes Georgian society as open and curious and says he likes it, but he also complains about a clumsy administration and business culture. It is banal, but let's start with discipline. In Georgia, it is typical to be late. It can be 10 minutes, a quarter of an hour, half an hour. Of course, we try to teach our employees to be punctual. Another example is quality of service. Service is something which was probably outside the common experience here for years. But this is important in our relations with clients. Rezo Razmadze is one satisfied customer. A former musician, with Pro Credit Bank credit, he now runs a printing company on the outskirts of Tbilisi. He works especially with German partners. All the material, the paper, the forms, the machines, we get them from Europe. It would be very hard to make them in Georgia. When they share their experience with us when we travel to Europe, it's very important for us. So there are already projects and cooperation initiatives rolling, but in its Black Sea report, the Parliament regrets the lack of a coherent approach. The European Commission, which came up with the regional strategy idea, has left the objectives rather vague, Islav Begin complains. It's all a bit of a blur, this Black Sea strategy. I'm waiting to get a real look at the content, because when one imagines Georgians meeting with the Russians, for example, one wonders how strong solutions can be found when they're in conflict. That is what the Black Sea strategy should offer, ways to settle certain conflicts and organize cooperation. If it can do that, so much the better. But I have my doubts. The cooperation strategy then is still in need of focus. The MEPs in Georgia found among the most pressing needs will be logically integrating a whole range of initiatives.